You spoke about um, the government needing to get expenditure under control. You talked about deficit and borrowing, but of course there's another way that the government can improve its fiscal position, and that's by taxing all of us um, and everyone else in the country. What are your thoughts about the appetite and the ability of the Israeli taxpayer to pay more tax? Um, do you think, for instance, a wealth tax might be introduced? Um, generally, I would say that I think that the government, as I said before, will need to bring back the uh, debt or debt to GDP ratio slowly to comfortable levels. Um, I should say that even before the war, the government spending on uh, basic civil services was relatively very modest. If you compare Israel's spending on uh, education, health, uh, welfare, and everything else, relative to GDP, we're among the lowest in, uh, in OECD countries. So I was on the of the view, also in the past, that we need to improve some of these services. I will not go into detail of what spending too little on health and, and education means for the quality of life, but I think it has consequences also for growth, not only for the uh, quality of life. And in order to finance that, especially in a country that has high uh, defense needs, you, we needed higher taxes. I think now it's, it would be necessary uh, because we will have, we will see an, an increase in the defense spending. I'm not talking about the immediate uh, one-off need to pay for ammunition and reservists and, and all these needs. I'm talking about a longer term uh, increase in our uh, defense spending. I think there is a clear uh, recognition that we will have to increase the, the size of the army. So we will have to pay for that. Generally, uh, I, I, what my expectation is that we can uh, very gradually uh, get the debt to GDP ratio back to, to where it should be uh, and deal in, the, in, in a gradual way uh, with the additional one-off uh, increase in spending. But we must, uh, if we increase permanently the budget, for that part, for the permanent part, we have to uh, pay for it by uh, increasing uh, resources. And that means basically taxes. And which taxes? You know, there is a, a, a large menu. I'm not sure that wealth tax will be high on the list, not because it's not a just tax. It's just a, very, a tax that is quite complicated to actually, um, to actually uh, collect a significant amount. Um, I think one of the um, candidates to be increased is a, a income tax because in, in Israel we collect income tax. Uh, overall, we collect relatively little. And it's not because the uh, marginal tax on the higher brackets is low. It's not low. The, the thing is that about 55% of uh, employees in Israel don't get into the threshold where they pay taxes. Basically, because of all the exemptions, uh, only uh, about three um, deciles, Asironim deciles, yes, yeah, yes. Uh, pay any income tax. I think this is not a reasonable uh, mm -hmm. situation. So I think this is one area. And then mm -hmm. there are other all kinds of exemptions, tax exemptions that I think uh, need to be uh, sort of reviewed. Some of them had justification in the past and may not be as justified now. Some of them are quite regressive. Uh, I think, for example, the um, uh, exemptions on of taxations around Pen, saving for pensions are probably too high. 
we also have a, a compulsory a pension saving. So you don't need to, when you do something compulsory, you don't need to give so much incentives. So I think there are different ways, but it's clear that we will have to uh, increase uh, the tax revenues, at least to pay for the permanent increase in, in spending.